Hey folks, it's Nick Granville. So today I thought what I'd talk about is probably the most important thing that you can do to put, to affect your tone. Now, I see people all the time that, that, you know, they go through a bunch of different patches and all these different things and then wonder, now they're kind of like, my tone's not happening, what do I do? One of the most powerful things is this. Volume control. Right, that sound I had there was a Morgan AC20. This is the John Cordy patch. If you don't know John Nathan Cordy, he's a um, British guitar player. Um, does has a really great YouTube channel. Um, does a lot of stuff with the Fractoid. This is just his preset. I just changed the verb. I basically rebuilt it, and then I wanted the gold plate reverb, which is this, and a little bit of delay. All right. Which is pretty much what I do all the time. I like that, I like that bit of delay and that lush verb. So, if you if you listen when I've got my volume up on full, I'd describe that as kind of driven and a little bit spongy and what have you. But even just take your volume and set it on eight, full, and eight, seven, I should say. You see you get that lush tone and what what I like about that and it's the, one of the reasons I don't put one of those caps or any of that kind of stuff on on the volume control um, the problem I have with those is that you, you know the ones where you turn it down and they say it sounds the same they don't they're a treble bleed so what it does is it lets the treble through so basically in other words when you're turning down Sure, the treble sounds the same, so to, to some people's ears, it sounds the same. The problem is that what happens is, as you're turning down, you're effectively just removing bass and mid-range. So you turn it down, it gets thinner and thinner and thinner, and then, you know. To me, it's more powerful to just have that regular, and then when I turn it down, I lose a bit of top end, right? But that's a good thing. Like this sound here... <laughs> It's pretty bright, right? But if I run it on eight, that just winds off just enough tops to make it sweet, right? And then, of course, you know, volume on five. So now with one guitar sound, I haven't changed pickups or anything, I've got one tone, I can get a really good clean sound, I can get an edge of breakup and then a fairly dirty-ish sound with just the one, without doing anything, it's all just from here. That's without even touching the tone control yet, right? Because there's all kinds of scope with that too, right? <laughs> So you can see with the tone control there, I can get this kind of other characters to the sound. And again, I haven't changed pickups, I haven't done anything. Um, I'm just working the controls on the guitar. Volume and tone, I like I like that. Just volume and tone is simple. I don't like the four ones. I know some people love it. Um, I don't tend to do that. Volume, easy, tone, easy, and then a five way. Um, so yeah, you can, like I would urge you to really start exploring where what happens with these now it's completely different on a humbucker guitar something like this 
how it kind of reacts to the pickup and what it does and it's a different kind of response but again more tones right and that again i haven't even gone to bridge pickup i mean i could do this Which is quite a different tone from that neck pickup, right? And so that's the thing, like, uh, you know, once we start getting into, like, the split positions. I had a blues club gig the other day, and uh, what I did was just set up a sound similar to that. Oh, I used the Marshall, but same point in the fractal and I just I think I left it on bridge pickup most of the night and I kind of rode my volume on my guitar it's a great way of playing give it a try um you know you'll you'll get much more um usable tones if you start exploring those and seeing what they do um if you like what you've seen today please subscribe I post every day on YouTube my name's Nick Granville I'm a guitar player from Wellington New Zealand um, yeah, um, this preset, I won't make this preset available um, because you can just go to John Cordy's one and get that. I'll link his stuff below, but go to his um, page and, you know, pay the man for the stuff. Um, or rebuild it yourself if you want. He shows you how to rebuild it, how to build it in that video if you really want to do that or just get it from his gum tree or whatever it is. I think he pays like, you pay like five bucks and he, um, you know, he keeps updating them all the time. So, so go and support the guy. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I'll play you out on the neck pickup. And I'm going to explore some of those tones. <laughs>